Hello guys and gals, it's Dave here from Doodle Juice. We've had a bit of a year, haven't we? So let's get cathartic about the whole thing and create some art. Yeah, 2020 is the year that just keeps on giving. A friend of mine asked me the other day, if you could sum up this year so far in one sentence, what would it be? To which I replied, um, I don't know. I'm not really good with words. I'm more of a visual dude. This is how I would sum it up. Well, scores of fires are burning out of control across Australia amid a heat wave which has seen temperatures exceed 40 Celsius in every state. Officials are predicting a day of extreme danger with rising temperatures combined with thunderstorms and a change of wind direction. Let's just have a look at East Gippsland. This is in the state of Victoria. The authorities warning here it's actually too late now for people threatened by bushfires even to get out of the area. 24 hours ago, tens of thousands of residents and tourists were told to leave because the conditions were getting worse. The fires are now encroaching on the major roads. We have a look in neighbouring New South Wales as well. Conditions here expected to deteriorate as the pictures that we've got from the Rural Fire Service help to indicate. A hundred fires burning away, more than 40 of them are uncontained. We begin with right, the breaking so. news of a, a Ukrainian passenger jet plane has crashed shortly after takeoff from Tehran, killing at least 170 passengers and crew. Rescue workers say there were no survivors. The Ukraine International Airlines Boeing 737 was banned from Kiev. Mongolia has closed its border with the country to cars and pedestrians in a bid to contain the coronavirus. More than 80 people have died since the outbreak started and there are estimates that nearly 6,000 people have been infected. Around half of those we believe have recovered. Let's get the latest live with our correspondent Robin Brandt who joins me now from Shanghai. Robin, welcome to you. We just got this news in the short time ago. In Ramona, he's calling for calm following days of sectarian violence between Hindus and Muslims that has killed at least 27 people. The unrest has been centred around Muslim majority neighbourhoods there in the northeast of Delhi and there are reports that Muslim homes and shops have been deliberately targeted. The BBC's Regina Fatima. Now, the latest official figures on the spread of coronavirus show that 786 have died in hospital. That is the highest reported so far for a 24-hour period. But experts do say that the growth in numbers is actually lower there than the predicted. Across the United States in response to the death of a black man, George Floyd, in police custody. Protesters have broken an overnight curfew in Minneapolis after several nights of unrest. Violent protests have spread to at least 20 cities across America. George Floyd, who was not armed, died on Monday after a police officer, the UK Derek Chauvin, has into its his largest point. recession on record because of the coronavirus lockdown, contracting by more than 20% between April and June in the biggest slump of any major global economy. The recession, defined by six months in a row of falling out to 21 is the million confirmed coronavirus cases around the world. And that figure is rising by more than a quarter of a million new cases every day. The global death toll now exceeds three quarters of a million. In the past 24 hours, the World Health Organization recorded nearly 6,000 deaths linked to COVID-19.